if the MX Keys Mini is the best keyboard for software developers, then why did I return it? In this video, I'm gonna talk about that keyboard and I'm gonna go more in depth on things that I didn't talk about in a previous video. But I'm not gonna make you wait until the end of this video to find out why I returned it. In fact, we'll get started with that. Now, I don't have anything against the white Apple Magic Keyboard look, but I really wanted to go with a black keyboard, which is why I went with the non-Mac version of the MX Keys Mini. This version of the keyboard had keys that were labeled for both Mac and Windows users. The keyboard itself worked perfectly fine. The keys just did not line up with that that's on my current MacBook Pro. The function keys and the control keys were actually switched. I had hoped to be able to remap them, but it turns out that you can remap the function key to the control, but you cannot remap the control key to the function key. Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. I could try to get used to this and just put up with the context switching of going back and forth between a couple of different keyboard systems, but I wanted consistency. So I ended up returning the black keyboard and decided to go with the Apple Magic Keyboard whitish look. And I say whitish because it turns out that even though the pictures make it look like the Magic Keyboard, when I actually got it, it actually is a light grayish color, including the keys themselves. So it's not exactly like the Apple Magic Keyboard. Now I've received messages that this MX Keys Mini cannot possibly be a good keyboard for programming because it doesn't have the home and page up, page down, and write delete keys. Well, neither does the MacBook Pro, but it doesn't matter because you can actually do the same functionality by using the function key and holding it down while you use the arrow keys. Or to do the right delete, you just hold the function key and hit the delete button. So it's not really a big problem. And same thing on any of the MacBook Pros. Another person said that it couldn't possibly be good for programming because of the small arrow keys. Well, this is only going to be a problem for Java devs who might need some glasses because they don't see sharp. So let's look at some of the noticeable differences between the MX Keys Mini and the Apple Magic Keyboard. One of the biggest draws for me is that I got tired of having a bunch of keyboards on my desk for all my devices. And with the MX Keys, I can switch between three different devices. That means I can you know, connect to both my personal MacBook Pro, my work MacBook Pro, and my iPad Pro and switch between them instead of having the three different keyboards on my desk. Now, if you're someone who is interested in this keyboard and wanting to use it wired, well, then unfortunately I have bad news for you that this keyboard is going to be Bluetooth. The cable only works for charging the keyboard, not for actually connecting it for use as a wired keyboard. My second major reason for switching away from the Apple Magic Keyboard, which by the way, I really like, was finger pain. Now, one of the things that I noticed is over time with the Magic Keyboard is when I'm doing a lot of typing, I was developing a lot of pain on the side of my thumb from hitting the space bar. And so I, one of the things I was hoping was that trying another keyboard would get rid of that. Now, I've been using the full-size MX Keys keyboard for several months now, and I'm happy to say that that pain has gone. And one of the reasons for that is that the keys on the MX Keys are a little bit longer travel, and it just feels a little bit softer. I feel like it's less likely for me to actually bottom out with my thumb, and I have not felt any of that pain since using the MX Keys. And fortunately with the MX Keys Mini, it's the same keys with the same kind of travel and everything and it, and it feels the same. The other thing about this keyboard is it does have some concave indentions in the keys, which feels a little bit weird at first, but I was able to get used to it really quickly. And I actually find that's helpful in me being able to recenter my fingers on the keys. And it's just very subtle, but it works well. Another cool thing about the MX Keys is that it's backlit. So when you move your fingers up close to the keys, it will light up so you can see what you're doing and typing in the dark. And then when you lift your fingers away, it dims down. Now this does come at a price, and that price is that it's going to drain your battery significantly faster than the Apple Magic Keyboard. I definitely notice that I get a fraction of the time, you know, maybe about a third of the time of use between charges when I have the backlight on than I do if I was just using the Magic Keys. There are also some really cool new keys on this keyboard, including ones to do screenshots, mute your mic, do some dictation. And there's even this emoji one, which I honestly didn't think that I was going to use at first, but I'm actually finding it super useful, especially when I'm doing comments and responding to comments on these YouTube videos. But this does come at a price because that means you're gonna lose some other keys, including the one to see all your applications or to see all of your windows that you have open, as well as the reverse and forward keys. A third important reason for getting the MX Keys Mini 
was I was starting to miss not having extra space for my mouse on the side of the keyboard. And also on the larger MX Keys keyboard, the layout is a little bit different. The full size version doesn't have a function key on the bottom. And as a math geek, I like functions, algebra and geometry, but graphing is where I draw the line. Still, it's a great option though if you like full size keyboards. The extra weight of the MX Keys Mini is definitely noticeable when compared to the Apple Magic Keyboard. I wouldn't necessarily want to keep this in my backpack and carry it around with me a lot. I'd probably opt for the Magic Keyboard if that's what I was going to be doing. But despite the thickness, it is still very low profile and has much of the same feel as the Apple Magic Keyboard when it comes to typing. The MX Keys Mini looks awesome and does everything I needed to do as a professional software engineer. You should also check out this video up here on why programmers prefer Macs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lates.